Second Timothy's. Second Timothy's. Chapter 4. Verse. Verse 2. Verse 1. I charge thee, therefore, before Yahweh. And our Adam one, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, who should judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Preach the word. Be in be in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakhakodash, the Wadi of Hashem El Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Hey, Shalom to the Akim, pushing the word in sincerity and in truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. So, what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chip, which the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lift up the hopeful elect into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shoot the laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. Hey, Alvarat desire the Lord take the course of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the other filthy customs that have taken upon. So, um, we outside, you know, standing on our watch. Um, we had to come to a, a uh, enclosed location, you know, and um, prophesy the downfall of this wicked society, this whole system, because it's madness, I tell you, and um, <clears throat> it's going to find our people, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, is going to find yourself in the worst state ever, because you're going to you're going to have a wake up call, and you know how they saying that that ninja wake up call. You know, a lot of celebrity has had had it. A lot of individuals has had it. You know, and when you find out that Ashashwa don't like you, you're gonna find out, and then you're gonna be all caught up, and it's gonna be all your fault. You know why? Because you didn't listen to the men of the Lord. Okay, the men of the Lord been out there on the highways and hedges, telling you what you should be doing with yourself, getting prepared, preparing yourself for the coming of your King. Okay, and what you have not been doing, not preparing yourself. So, you know, just, um, that was, uh, Second Timothy. I want to get that in the, um, because that verse that I was going through my scriptures and I was just looking for verses to start this off with, and that's, that one, that's the one that, that came to mind, All right? So, when I opened my book, so hold on, bear with me. Internet. Salakia. Hey, stand by. Hey, Salakia. I had to turn the internet on. So, so we are um we are exhorting with all long suffering. Okay, we are on the highways and hedges, prophesying the downfall of this place because we know it has not been good to us. Okay, that's what we learn. We see they ain't been good to their own self. Look what's happening right now, okay? The um, they um, the what is that called again? Um, uh, the sundown towns. They ran down their own people for the sundown towns. A lot of places that flooded from the the, the um, tornadoes were sundown towns. The, the people have been investigating. They found it out. So there's nothing they wouldn't do to 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 conquer this earth, okay? The earth, the, destroy, the earth, the, the people that destroyed the earth, there's nothing they would not do. And they got you, they got you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans in the worst state ever. And they run around just jogging all damn day. Act like none of this shit is happening. That's the crazy part. You know? It's locked here. Go to um, Timothy chapter four. Come on, open up. Let's 
Let's lock it. Got to close up the tabs. Pull it open up. So yeah. So we're exhorting from all long suffering. Alright. We out here on the highways and hedges to the best of our ability. Um meet in salvation. Alright. Alright, so this um I started with this one, so we're gonna we're gonna just go in the spirit. So um it says it says um preach the word. That's our job to preach the word to get out there on the highways to the to the best of your ability. You know, we got the blueprint right now. Yahweh Shiraksha has set up his men from the great millstone and, and they put the blueprint out there. So there's no excuse. There's no excuses because we see these individuals, for example, you know, I call them the hat gang. And they proved it at the hat gang. Yo, let's put our hat on. What's his name? Um, the, the Deacon Destruction Group. Um, Deacon Akar and, and that other guy on um, Hasad. I would put my hat on and preach the word. Not even thinking. They mocking Yahweh Shemel Shah. Because it's his um it's his rule. It's not the men of the Lord's rule. It's not his they rule. It's Yahweh Shemel Shah's rule. They said, let's see that real fast. Okay. They hate they hate they hate they hate the men that rebuke at the gate, man. Okay. So it's just crazy how how they think they, they hurt they, that they hurt the apostles. You only hurt yourself. The apostles, they know better. They 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 ain't trying to disrespect you about Shemel Shah. That's why they that's why they've been out there for all these these 40 years. Waking up men. Alright. That's why they've been out there. Um a man should not cover his head. Bible verse, King James Version. We're just gonna read the book, bro. We're not gonna argue with you because because you whatever your whatever your problem is personally is is your is your issue with Yahweh Shah. You got you got you got you got personal struggles with Yahweh Shemel Shah. And you you hate you must have been one of those individuals, a lot of individuals that was back then screaming at, oh, let free Barabbas. Free Barabbas. And look at you. You you wanna you wanna um you want to mock the Yahweh Shemel Shah again. Okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, is dishonoring, is the honor of his head. So you dishonoring your head. Okay, so you need to, you need, it's in the scriptures. You prophesying, you should not have your head, the top of your, you should be uncovered, man. You know? You feel ashamed of your head? Put a bandana on, man. It's supposed to cover your forehead, man. You got a big forehead. You know it's cold. You know you you put a um put one of those things that you can cover your ears, whatever the case may be, man. But it says the scriptures. It says does say the Lord's words in His book. He comes in the volume of the book. You should be thinking of what Yahweh Shemel Shai wants you to do. Not worry about what the men of the Lord, because the men of the Lord working out their own. If they, if they, if they not the men of the Lord, then who is it? Huh? Who is it? Is it Ashashua? Because Ashashua got the earth now. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. And if you see how the wicked rule, this ain't looking good. Okay. The water don't look beautiful. They flood. They, they, they drowning. The, the um, uh, um, sundown towns. <laughs> He, they drowned the whole sundown town gangs. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. It, it's it, it's big about it now. Now it's like you can see how much Shemel Shah coming back judging the world. You can see his judgments happening because the prophet spoke about it. Okay, the prophet spoke about it. Okay, Salaki. Put it in my pocket. All right. So prophet spoke about it. they spoke about all these things that was going to happen that's all going to occur and it's happening right before everybody's eyes okay so you shouldn't have your, your head covered you should be thinking about your safety warning we're warning you from your habashim shot not from us because when, when you have a shot give those men of the lord his power is to judge then you're going to be judged 
on this side, when you come back as a baby, you're going you're gonna, you're gonna to be right. You'll get it right. Because you're going to bring you back through the loins of the righteous man. And then you're going to be correct. Do all the other Shemel Shah for that. Because we want righteousness. What are we doing this for? You try, you try to make a, um, uh, you said something. Um, yeah, we, we don't hate nobody. We don't, you know, we love all the camps. But Great Millstone, everybody's seen what you did, man. It was evil, man. It was evil. So, we're going to stick to the protocol of um, exhorting and long, and long, long suffering. Okay? Okay? And we got to suffer this. Okay? So it says, preach the word. All right, let's read this in the NLT translation. All right? It says, um, this is guess we're going to pronounce this wrong. Let's hear it. Solemnly. Yeah. All right, I was right. So, Yahab Hashim Shah said to his men, okay? He said, um, 2 Timothy chapter chapter 4, verse 1, okay? And it reads, um, in the NLT translation, I solemnly urge you to, I solemnly urge you in, Salak here. One more time. Presence. Yeah. Salakia. Because the word was all jacked up. Salakia. I solemnly urge you in the presence of Yahweh Yahweh Shah and Yahweh and Yahweh Shah Mashiach who will someday judge the living and the dead. Someday. The someday is near. Okay, it's right, right around the corner, man. You can feel it, man. It's just, as the judgment is happening now. All right, judgment is happening now, and there's no way you're gonna get away from it. It's judgment. Okay, things is happening. You mean to tell me you don't fear? You don't feel the things you're doing? The man, the Lord has spoken. How did you get the truth, man? How did you get the truth? You did. You just came upon it. Um, if you, if you, if you, if it was um. If it was Nate in the gang, you'd be with Nate in the gang. But now you wouldn't Nate because somebody's getting paid, man. Y'all people looking real fancy. You talking about all the cars you got, all of this. I ain't got to worry about that. You get paid. You got paid, man. You got paid, bro. You know. I solemnly urge you, in the present, in the present of Yahweh, and Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Who will someday judge the living and the dead when he appear to sit to set up his kingdom? When he accomplish up his kingdom, man, what are you what, what you better have you where's the faith in you, man? I'm telling you, you don't like Yahweh Shah. you already when y'all was with when y'all was with Shakari, y'all was already talking about Yahweh Shah. So they got all that money, somebody somebody got some y'all got y'all got paid, bro. That's why it's been a split over there. Hey, money makes um money um brings envy. All right, people start envying because you got more. You got the, look what Comfy. Look what happened to Comfy. Everybody heard knew what happened with Comfy did. Look what happened with Comfy. And you thought you think the elites gonna stop trying to offer people bags? People out here struggling. But yeah, how about Shemel Shah men? Know what the, um, the riches that um what what he said set your upon set your riches upon heavens. Let's see that real quick. Set your riches upon heaven. Your riches should be. How Shah said that? Let's see if we can find that verse. Set your riches upon heaven. Bible verse, King James version. How Shah said that. You know? Yeah. So we can find that real fast. Because you about to you about to get a real um a real rude awakening. And it's gonna be so rightfully it's gonna be rightfully so, bro. Alright? Matthew chapter Matthew chapter six verse twenty. But lay up your treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt. And where thieves do not break through and still lay your riches up in heaven, man. Because that's where it's at, man.
because we know we know for a fact that when you have Hashim Al-Shah get back here, we, those that have been waiting for him and waiting for his love and his appearing is going to be up and called up with him. We're not going to be left here to die, to get hit with missiles. Okay? He's going to protect his hopeful elect. And that's what you got. That's what you got. That's what you got to refocus on. Laying up your treasures in heaven, because heaven is the is, is going to be here on earth. When he come, when he gets, you, you store your, you, you, you pray to Yahweh Shemuel Shai. You get all these, you get, you get your busy videos in. Um, this is laying up your treasures in heaven. What we're doing now, all right? We're working our own salvation with fear and trouble. Putting that work in, building up that credit. So when you get back here, when when those when those bullets is flying and, and people chasing you down, I'm telling you, man, these are the dreams I have. People chasing you down and it, death is all around you. He get, remember that movie? Remember the scene in um World to World? Zap people getting zapped with laser beams and you and you see powder. They just turn to powder. That's what, if you one of those men, if you with Tom Cruise, if, if he's the movie, he's the guy in the movie, right? If you Tom Cruise, all the all the laser beams they gonna touch you because he the director. The, the, which is Yahweh shot? Yahweh should be on shot. Yahweh, the movie is cast. You, you, you're you're, you're um, a, a leading cast in the role. You're a leading star. You're a celebrity. So the movie is based around you. You were one of his hope. You were one of his predestinated ones. But how it's looking, you may not be a predestinated one. Because you're so fucking envious. You're so fucking um. You got your treasures on the earth, right? What's the next verse? That's um, 6 and 20. What it says. Let's go to the chapter. Yeah, let's go up a verse. Um, Because we, we, we're praying to get out of here, man. We don't want, we're not trying to get the bread here, man. You gotta understand that we're not trying to get this this rusty ass face with this eat of my face money. We want to see this system collapse, man. We want this is what we want, man. This is what we're doing this for. We ain't laying up our treasures here. We praying every day, Yahweh Shem Al to get us out of here. Okay. So lock here. We praying every day. So here, let me read this. I'm go up a couple of verses. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up 19. 